how you learn best by career type is now what we're going to be talking about. Okay, just by in general career type. And I'll continue the conversation specifically with your charts next week before our lecture place course. So first and foremost, always yourself, but builders especially please study and understand your design. Advisors, you need to study and understand the design of others. Your classmates, especially, because you're working with them and they're giving you information, okay, as far as what it's like for them. So if you start to practice analyzing, especially if you're already an analyst or you're planning on being a certified consultant, that is going to be so key for you as an advisor. You know, looking at family and friends as well. The people that are closest to you are really helpful, if, especially if you're brand new at this advisor. Look at other people. Innovators, identifying who and how you impact others on a daily basis is helpful. Study and understanding their charts might be helpful, but this is more about you, how you impact others. What your impact is, is really key. And then evaluators, studying and understanding the monthly cycles and the impact of that. We don't have any at this point, but with regards to that, the traits of the monthly cycle that they go through, which is the moon, to get a sense of the bigger picture, is giving them a different flavor of themselves every day. So it's about studying and understanding their cycles in context of their design. And that is like a whole, it could be a whole training in and of itself. So for each of you, there's a unique way to learn. And I look forward to adding on a bonus analysis, group analysis, as we go through this next week. Okay. So now please make sure you've got your, your chart. We're still going, by the way. If you need a break, please feel free to get a break. You always have the recording. And um, what you want to do, having your chart, uh, this is a break point, which I did not make <laughs> at an hour. Usually try to make a break at an hour. Didn't work today. That's okay. But have your chart. Looks like everybody did because you all knew what you were when we did the poll. And now it's time to work with concepts, concepts of how our class is going to move forward in understanding our career design chart. So first thing we're going to do is talk about the binary that is the body graph and the synthesis that the body graph is comprised of. So this is now talking to deconstructing the science of differentiation in the system so that you have a foundational comprehension of the formulas behind this power that is your body graph. What do you notice when you look down at your chart right now? What do you notice? Okay, so look down at your chart. Can you see how your chart tells a story? It's a unique story. Those of you who are human design professionals, I know you know what I'm talking about. For you brand new people, it's a unique story. It tells you what is conscious about you your mind and its functioning. And it also tells us what is unconscious about you, as in your body, the body experience and its expression of this life. It's going to tell us what energy is consistent and reliable, trustworthy, an integral part of your beingness. And it's also going to tell you where you are open to conditioning. Conditioning not bad or wrong, conditioning something that we can be aware of and leverage. Love that about BG5. We can leverage it. Now, one of the things I want you to look at right now, tell me, please, is everything connected that's colored in or is it not? Please type into the chat. Is it connected or is it not? If it's connected, you have some good news and bad news. If it's connected, you are an individual that is independent. If it's not connected, meaning the split, as a lot of people are saying, if it's not connected, 
then good news, bad news. <laughs> you are two or three or four separate aspects of yourself, meaning the functioning is not independent like the individual that is all connected. And that means then that you are designed to function very differently, process information differently, work with people differently. It is a very key element of your human design body graph. I can't tell you how important it is. It is the most powerful thing. One of the most powerful things that you can understand is whether or not your circuits are connected in your body graph so that you can fall in love with your design. I want you to see the strengths and talents and gifts, every single one of them, whether you're connected or not, each of us has a unique superpower because of that very definition we call it in the design. For example, this is Karen's chart and you can see that she's a split. Remember I was telling you that I have the 14 in my design, as in there's an imprint there, and she has the two? Okay, so it means then that together we can work perfectly in empowering the business, the small business, and the large business in a new direction if we work together. If it's correct for her to invite me, and it's correct for me to accept in getting to know who she is, how I can support her process of being a star, as in her satisfaction of doing a job that she loves. So it is very critical and key to see that when we have splits, especially like the basic split, it is a power, not a problem. It's just that it's an additional place that we have to see we need others. We are not independent. We need to be interdependent. This is about interdependency, not dependency, but interdependency, the new way forward in this new cycle that we are in, really, in the next five years especially. So I want you to see how your design is very different from others' designs. No longer will you look at a body graph and say, oh, you're like me, if you've got the same functions colored in. Nope, not even if you've got the same strengths colored in. These are strengths, yeah? Not even then. You're not the same. Absolutely, utterly unique. So each of you, with your career design chart, having nine functions or centers, four different career types, 36 strengths or channels, 64 traits or gates, each of those traits having six potential qualities for 384 variations, i.e. the lines, for example, the lines. More even, these functions, this type, this strength, this trait, this quality, all of that makes for an utterly unique foundation of the synthesis of what you are. It's a synthesis of the binary. There's a binary there in these individual parts, okay? The parts that are synthesized to create a whole. Those individual parts in you with the underlying detail that is there where you can see opposites is how the mind functions. Mind has black and white thinking. Good, bad, right, wrong, okay? If you ask me in my class, is this good about your design? <laughs> I'm not going to answer that. If you ask me in this class, is this bad? I'm not going to answer that. Not with a yes or a no, because none of it is bad. None of it is wrong. None of it is broken. None of it is incorrect. It's just the way in which you were raised didn't help you access the unique inherent potential within if you're not at the highest levels of success, satisfaction, peace, surprise. So synthesis, when it comes to synthesis, we're looking at how things work together, okay? Instead of good, bad, right, wrong, up, down, now we're looking, we're thinking in holistic terms, the whole. So these underlying codes 
you know, of the data stream, the computer codes here. Interpreting that and then bringing holism to the chart. That is our aim. The whole is greater than the sum of the parts. We can also call it a quantum. One plus one does not equal two when we're talking about human design body graphs or BG5 career designs. We're looking at something that is more than just the individual parts and pieces. Okay? There's neither going to be good or bad. We have the whole package of our sovereign nature and self. There is no bad design. Okay? What you're going to find in your synthesis is that there is always going to be a level of genetic continuity. What does that mean? It means that there is an aspect of you that has this continuing thread through your design. I want you to start looking for the continuing thematic, the thread of things that are in these components, these separate pieces that are keep pointing at the finger at the same thematic, you could say. Maybe you have a lot of threes, quality threes. Maybe you have a lot of ones. That's just at its very basis, simple terminology. To start to see the genetic continuity or the thread of consistency, these themes that exist in our circuitry or the different qualities that are repeating thematics as we move forward. I want you to look for that. Think of it like you're looking for Waldo. Where's Waldo? Oh, he's over here. Oh, he's over there. Okay, he's so always over here. I want you to find yours, okay? That's your task in this class. Find your genetic continuity. What is the strongest thematic that you're here for? Hi, I'm a three, five profile. I've got nine fifth qualities. That's one of my keys. I'm here with a message. I'm here to help in times of crisis to find practical solutions in moving forward as a leader. Now, there's a lot of other places where we can find leadership in the chart. So as we continue on in this journey, I want you to seek and you will find the process of your sovereign nature and what your chart is speaking to. It's going to be there in different aspects and in different ways. Might take us a year and a half to get all of it under your belt, but don't worry, the time will pass anyway. What things better do you have to do than empowering yourself in your business? Um, I'm, a, I'm a business person, so you know, it's one of my top priorities. Okay, so it's important to be aware. Remember, the worst place to make decisions is over here. Good, bad, right, wrong, up, down, left, right. Mm -mm. Your holism, your body, the way that you're designed to function has its own sovereign nature that can operate quite nicely without the mind getting in the way. So your individual parts work together synchronistically. And the beautiful thing about experimenting with this living in alignment you're going to find that the greater gift and picture, that holism, really brings things together for you in enriching your life, your life's work, your life's purpose. It feels so much more meaningful when you know what you're here for. And so never making decisions from the mind. I know it's hard, but if you ask yourself inside of your head about yourself, was that my mind? Most of the time, yes, it was. If you start to feel frustrated, angry, bitter, disappointment, yep, that was your mind. Okay, signposts. So never making decisions from the duality of good, bad, right, wrong. This is a non-moralistic value judgment here. Okay, to trust your holism, the holistic synthesis, which always supports your decision-making process. That is how your body functions. Okay. When I was a dive master in Hawaii, we called it getting a global perspective. You know, what? know what's going on all around you. <laughs> For you here, I want you to feel into this body, how your body functions. That is the first and foremost primary operative. Pay attention to this body. And I know I can help you. Okay.
Back to the synthesis to describe this really. It's a really easy, clean concept. I love this image. You can see that we've got a blue on one side. We could call it this. We've got a yellow on one side. We could call it that. When we put the two together, here we have the synthesis. Yellow and blue make green. So when we put two things together, we're creating something utterly unique, utterly new. That neither this nor that, the whole greater than the sum of the parts, the synthesis. This is how we need to take a look at an individual's design so that it's both neither just this or just that, so that you see that they create something new and that the whole is greater than the sum of the parts, it's really key that you don't, so to interpret, why am I being this simple with it? Okay, stay with me. Still with me? Listen very closely. You are not a trait. I'm a 43. Nope, nope. Nope, you're not. Even though you might hear me talk like that, <laughs> I'm a 14. Yeah, that's my unconscious core essence, definitely. But it's just an aspect, okay? So all of us are a holis holistic creature, and all of us have many, many layers of synthesis. Synthesis. There are three foundational syntheses. The design and the personality, we call that the red and the black, to be very clear and plain. To look at the chart, you see red and black, that's the synthesis of number one. Number two is you have two defined traits, okay? One on each side of a strength. In human design, we call that gates and channels. Here, I want you to use, if you can, please try to remember, get into the habit, traits. Traits, it's really easy because it rhymes with gates. Traits and gates, okay, we've got traits. And then when you look over at channels, think of it as a strength, yeah, strength. I've got my arms up like I'm a bodybuilder. Okay, you can't see me. Synthesis of nature and nurture, where you're defined, okay, your nature and where you're undefined, your nurture. Those are the three foundational syntheses I want you to keep in mind as we move forward. Really important. So to put it into visual context, when you look at a chart, okay, 13 different unconscious design traits. Marry that with 13 different unconscious personality traits. Now at this point, you might be looking down at your traits and going, wait a minute, I have the same trait over here and over here. What does that mean? Don't worry. In our one-on-one um, -on -one time together, I'll explain those nuances and subtleties to you, okay? Every one of you who are taking this course with me are all getting a session at a very discounted price off of my normal rates so that we can work together one-on-one. -on -one. And as most of you are repeating or have already had either a foundation analysis or a BG5 overview, because we have some repeating BG5 students in here, I want you to know we can discuss anything you want. Nothing is off topic or off limits. If you've already had a foundation analysis or a career design overview. Okay, so let's not do class time with those specifics in your design. We'll continue the journey step by step through all of this. All of this combined together, 13 unconscious, 13 conscious, creates 26 individual traits. It's not exactly the same. Even if you see the same exact trait, you most of the time will have a different line quality, quality, okay? With the rare exception of some of these down here because they are very slow moving life aspects. Those individual traits are what are creating any of the defined strengths, period. So it is who you were born to be when there is a defined strength. We're talking about very, very, very highly specific, finely tuned and honed aspect of who you are. No question, this is who you are. No matter where in that body graph, we have a defined strength. That is what you are here for. It is your superpower. 
because it's your strength. A very specific, narrow point of imprinting on one side, very specific life aspect on another, on the other, meeting in the middle. Now, this is not one half of the strength on one side. So I have a half of a strength over here. Mm -mm. Remember the quantum? We have an aspect and another aspect or a part and another part. They are not halves because together one plus one equals a third thing. Okay. It's a consistency. Your consistency is going to be unique to your frequency, your body chemistry from so much more than this. What's on this simple chart right here. Your defined functions, these centers in human design, we call them functions. These functions are what is consistent and reliable and trustworthy within you when they are colored in. You clear? It's really fascinating to see these aspects, especially that are unconscious within you. We'll talk more about that in just a bit. Really key that that is who you are. Now, in reality, what can happen is people look at this and go, okay, so does this mean I'm not, this is not who I am? No, actually, there have aspects outside there in the undefined, we call it open areas of the body graph aspects of yourself quite often. Sometimes there's no aspects. And I'll explain that in context with each person's design. Okay, so let's review. We have an unconscious trait, a design trait in this instance, the 51. And we have a conscious personality trait. So on the right hand side, you see, this is your mind, who you think you are on the right hand side. On the left hand side, this is the unconscious aspect of you, your body, your body's life form. But the witnessing of what life is like comes from the activations on the conscious personality side. Okay. So all of these little numbers, the numbers right before the dot are traits. The numbers after the dot, always one through six, they're qualities. So if we look at the synthesis of defined traits, when two activated traits, okay, activated traits meeting together on either side of a strength, they create that definition. Defined strength definition, creating a channel means then that that strength completes an energetic circuit. Okay. This is not circuitry. It's a circuit as in it's closed coming together with defined functions on either end because they are meeting in the strength. So in this example, we have this over here. I'm just going to add on some keynotes. You can see this is this person's values, the 59 in that defined function. And then we have the six, their maturing energy or immaturity on the other side creating definition, defined functions because of the defined strength. So it is the defined strength that creates the consistency of the defined function. That defined strength is also going to be influenced by the activated traits that are attached to the defined function. So you can use these aspects, these life aspects to help us understand how this strength is going to be supported. Good word here, supported for this person in their life. Same thing on this side. We have a defined activation. That activation is going to influence this defined strength. Okay. They're always on in relative terms to the frequency of the energetic circuitry that it is in, which I'll just explain more down the road. Now, coming back up to the surface, we need to talk about the different variations, different variations. So I want you to close your eyes for a minute. Ah, oh, deep breath, stretch, close your eyes. Okay. I want you to imagine we're flying over some really busy metropolitan area. 
Maybe it's LA. Let's imagine LA. Oof. <laughs> Sorry about that. But nonetheless, we're in a helicopter. We're flying. We've got our headphones on our ears. I've got my arms up on my head. I'm not flying. Absolutely. I'm not flying. Somebody else is flying us and we're looking down. Okay. We're looking down on the busy, sprawling Los Angeles metropolis, whatever you call that city. Okay. When we're looking down on that city, there are many overpasses, aren't there? There's a lot of uh, ways for the cars to get around. And we can't necessarily see where the underpasses go, where they come out of, okay? We can't, we just can't. Now I want you to open your eyes. Look on the left-hand side of this image, okay? The solid black line, it's our conscious strength. You can think of it as a road. A road because as we're flying up in that helicopter looking down, we can see the road. We can identify with it. We know where it goes. We're conscious of it. It's visible on a map. Okay. On the right hand side, that solid red line, I want you to think of it as a tunnel. It's an unconscious strength. Red like your blood. You can't see where your blood's going under your skin. You're not aware of how it functions where it goes, when it's going to come out, what it's going to show up like. But guess what? Everybody around you knows what you are. You don't, but they do. They know what you're like, okay? So the red stuff that you see is stuff that you may not consciously identify with yet, unless enough other people have told you enough other times, Lavina, did you know you're inspiring? What? I did not have any identification with that at all before human design. Now I get it. Now I know what it feels like. Okay, some of these things, uh, if you have been operating incorrectly for the last 50 years of your life, it might take some time to get them online. I know for me it took me a while for my brain to get online. But these different variations are going to show up in different ways, and they're going to mean different things. Okay? They're going to mean different things. Here we have a half red and a half black line. Part unconscious, the red, and part conscious, the black. That's a strength. So that means then there is a quality mm, trait, we could say, a trait, a characteristic to how this strength shows up that you are conscious of and the other aspect of it you're unconscious of. But guess, guess what? Again, everybody else is going to see that. That's you. Okay, it's still you. Now, if we look over on the right-hand side, you're going to see a striped line. It's going to be, um, instead of parallel like this striped, it's going to be like diagonal in some of the software. I want you to see that going back to our imaginatory helicopter ride. I kind of liked that. My mom was a helicopter pilot. Okay, so we're back up in our helicopter looking down at all the traffic and I want you to see the red and black striped line as an overpass as in there's an element of yourself that is conscious and there is an element of yourself that is unconscious now that is a complex configuration we got going on right there meaning there is going to be aspects of yourself that you're completely unaware of yet are still working underneath the surface, okay? Whenever you see those stripes, there's a conscious and an unconscious aspect. We call that an overpass just so you get the picture because the black is an overpass, a road, right? The red is an underpass, a tunnel. So this is a full overpass, just to help you remember conceptually. This is not about telling your client, hey, you've got an overpass. Hey. <laughs> it's about you understanding the concept, okay? So you're going to interpret it for your client just to remember, oh, there's a conscious aspect to you, there's an unconscious aspect of you, okay? Okay, so now look another one. Woo. Getting complex here, don't worry. It's not that complicated. Half striped and half red. This is a tunnel with a partial overpass. So that means it's an unconscious strength. It's a tunnel, unconscious strength that is partially conscious. There's an element of you, your life aspect, that is partially 
you're aware of it, but the rest of it's all unconscious. It's your body. Your body just doing what it does, living its life. Okay? Now, the conscious, on the other side, we have a half strap, striped and half black line. That is a full road because we have something that we're completely conscious of as far as the strength is concerned, and we have a partially unconscious life aspect. Okay? All of these life aspects inside of definition, which we're talking about, strengths, are going to be consistent to you relative to what that circuitry is, uh, where in the body graph it is, is another way of putting that. Okay? We'll talk more about that down the road. So again, synthesis, defined, colored in areas, your nature, what you give to others. I want you to imagine giving this like a gift, wrapped in a nice little bow, but only if they ask. <laughs> only if they initiate you. Only if it's correct for you. Right? This is what you give. This is what you get from me. You are hearing Lavina's inspiration. Thank you very much. News at 8. What you broadcast as a transmitter. We have a strength of, you know, for those of you human design, channel of the transmitter. But think of it in this way. This is what is emanating from you. This is what you're beaming out into the world when you are defined. Okay? This is what you give. A consistent, reliable form of personal energy where you are fixed. Okay? Fixed. Fixed, fixed, fixed. It's you. It's always been you, always will be you, not going to change. Now, that's not to say that we're not evolving, learning, and growing here. Just to say that these are aspects we cannot change. I'm always going to be this weird and goofy when I'm comfortable and I'm happy. Okay, undefined. White areas. This is where you are nurtured. This is where life moves through you. This is where you are learning about life. This is where we can develop so much wisdom. Wherever we are white, we pick up stuff there. Okay? We're not broadcasting in the same way. No, we pick stuff up. What we receive, this is where we have our receptor sites. Okay? Receptors. Receptors to conditioning, receptors to being nurtured, an inconsistent, unreliable form of personal energy. This is where you're flexible. Okay, think yoga. This is where you're flexible. Well, some of us might not be so flexible anymore. I'm 45, not really flexible anymore. But hey, here, look, combination of your nature and nurture creates your interactive binary of your unique design. Okay, that's our synthesis. So there's always this interrelatedness, this interconnectedness. Nature, what we give to others, right there. Imagine a little puzzle piece. I give you my inspiration. I give you my imagination. That's my design. Now, on the nurture side, this is where we receive from others. Oh, you're telling me what you will do? Okay. I'll receive your willpower and I'll be nurtured by it because I have an undefined ego function, willpower function, okay? So this puzzle piece is our unique design. All of us have different receptor sites. All of us have different combinations of how we're designed to connect, okay? And when we are on track, we feel like we belong. We feel like we're a part of the puzzle, the greater whole contextually. That's what this is all about. So that we're in the right place, doing the right thing with the right people. So we love our life and we're fulfilled by the profit it brings. Deepak Chopra says, there are no extra pieces in the universe. Everyone is here because he or she has a place to fill. And every piece must fit itself itself into the big jigsaw puzzle. Okay. So my friends, your assignment. I know we're at the almost the top of the hour. 10 more minutes. You did it. I want to ask you, please, if you're new to BG5, update your student profile. Log into your account in the top right hand corner underneath the little GMT uh, timestamp. You'll find your login and then go to your account. And then number one, under your profile, you can put your human designer BG5 history so that 
we know what your background is. If you would like to tell me your professional background, I am an HR person. Perfect. You're in the right place. I'm a coach. Yay. Awesome. So glad to have you. I'm a consultant. Yes. You are in the right place, my friends. Put all your to your heart's content. <laughs> okay. This is for admin's purpose only as in not displayed on your bio in your class or with your classmates. This is for us. Okay. For us to know about. And then please put up a picture of yourself. You can select if you want to get the newsletter. And number two is on your professional profile. So you might notice that you all already, when you've signed up, as like um, a handful of you have, that we have already put you on the website. When you click your image, you'll be taken to the professional profile area and you'll be able to see that we have an about you. So you're welcome to put your cut public email and your website and your about you and your chart image if you want. Okay, so that's my invitation to you. Your reading assignment is the definitive book of human design, section two, the nine centers. That sounds like a lot. It is. So you don't have to do it until after, <laughs> until before, after this, not today, go take a break, but between now and class five, pages 44 through 104, not too bad. It's, it's a good, good amount of text. Do have your handy human design chart with you so that you can process as you go through if that is correct for you. So everybody learns differently. Now, I want to also ask you, this is key and I know it sounds cheesy but please under in your subscriptions under the activated class for foundation one you're going to go to the assignment section and there you're going to find the handouts for you to download so that you can do this practice assignment I'm going to explain to you it's designed to bring you into the present moment and aware of the different areas of your design to give you a tactile touch opportunity to color in your design, okay? The binaries that we were just discussing so that you understand, comprehend the, the synthesis of you. You're gonna find three blank charts, okay? Now, red and black assignment handout in class downloads. Color in the four blank charts. One is going to be just red, so your unconscious design traits only. The other is going to be black, your conscious personality traits only. Then you're going to do another chart, separate chart, on your full career design synthesis. If you are using a pen, color the red first, then the black. If you are using crayon, it's not going to work to put black over the red. Trust me, I've made that mistake. Okay, now on a separate chart, the fourth chart, I do suggest that you color in the areas that are not your nature meaning only the white areas, just the white areas. And then you will see how much amazing wisdom potential you have in this life because all the white areas, they are still a critical aspect of you. Everyone has everything in the design. The white areas are where you are learning wisdom, okay? Where you're learning about life. So, it's not a bad thing. It's an awesome thing to see. All of the white areas are part of where you are nurtured by life, where you as a student, your career design synthesis, are going to school in the areas that are white. Okay, I would love to hear if you do, if it's correct for you to do this hmm, e example, you know, your, your assignment to share in the student area what you experienced, what you learned or saw during this exercise. I know doing it many times over the years, even doing it again um, after some years, it was really, really helpful for awareness. So where you're gonna get your calculations over the database on the left-hand side for the red, for your chart one, using the red pen, color in the corresponding areas. That's your unconscious body design traits. The red on one side, the black on the other, your chart number two, your conscious personality construct. Okay, the black. As you're doing this, if this is the second or third time around for you, 
See if you can get into that, if it's correct for you, meditative state. Just contemplating. These are your conscious personality traits. These are, in esoteric terms, we would say the soul's imprint. But here in BG5, this is what you're working with. These are the tools in your toolkit as far as your conscious personality design. Remember, you are not just that. You are so much more. You are a holism. So let's color it in the holism in chart number three. You have your red chart design first, color that in, and then you do your black. And then looking at all of it, recognize that we're going to explore your individualized expression of all 16 career success tools, your codes in this assign or in this course. <laughs> all right. The red and black practice assignment, last piece, not your nature. You can see that there's a lot of things colored in there that are not this person's nature. More often than not, you're going to see way more places that you are nurtured by life. You see, if we were to flip this, it looks like if that was the definition, that's a lot, right? So for the most part, we have a lot of wisdom potential. It's a good thing. Color in the functions and traits that are typically white. Okay, not your nature, where you're inconsistent. It's not where you make decisions. Notice how much of your design is receptive to the conditioning by others. This is the chart that shows you where you are conditioned by others. There's no software that does this. You have to create it for yourself. 